the Mid-Atlantic Regional Planning Body, our protection of America's oceans and coastline is supposed to be data-driven. Uh, we're supposed to be using uh, the best available data, and I've been a strong proponent that that data needs to include Indigenous voices and Indigenous science. Being able to make some transformative pathways towards innovation where we value Indigenous science and the data portals reflect that Indigenous science in the categories and collection of data is really critical to the work that we're doing with the Mid-Atlantic Regional Planning Body for Tribes. So as Indigenous nations, uh, we're nations, not stakeholders, and data is really critical to uh, having non-Indigenous users in, uh, in a basin or in terms of the work that I do with, uh, with ocean resources understand that relationship. We saw in instances with deep water wind off of the coast of Martha's Vineyard or Noepi to the Aquina Wampanoag being a major uh, battle of contestation because it was going um, an impact, it was going through uh, traditional routes of harvesting for, for Wampanoags and it uh, was impacting submerged cultural resources, so archaeological sites that are critical to, to our people. For us, using data to, uh, to show the different types of uses that we have had since time immemorial in the ocean like our canoe journey routes, like our harvesting practices are critical to being able to have a seat at the planning table.